हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू मैथ्स क्लास टुडे वी विल लर्न सब्ट्रैक्शन ऑफ डेसिमल नंबर्स हियर फर्स्ट एग्जांपल इज वी हैव टू सब्ट्रैक्ट टू डेसिमल नंबर्स फर्स्ट डेसिमल नंबर इज 218.7 एंड 5.942 फ्रेंड्स फर्स्ट वी विल अरेंज दीस टू डेसिमल नंबर्स इन columns when we arrange the decimal numbers one below the other the decimal points in decimal numbers are in vertical line so first we will arrange this decimal number 210 this is the whole number part so we will write down 200 here 8 will come at one's place digit 1 will come at tens place digit 2 will come at hundreds place after decimal point this part is known as decimal part so here is given 7 so digit 7 will come at tens place and here we will put decimal point now we will arrange next decimal point when we write down the digits of the decimal number it should be put at proper places here the whole number part is 5 5 will come at ones place so we will write down 5 here put decimal point such that the decimal point are in vertical line now put the digits of the decimal part at proper places so 9 will come at tens place 4 will come at hundreds place and 2 will come at thousands place and the vacant places should be filled in with zeros so here in first decimal number at hundreds place and at thousands place no value is given so we will write down zero here in second decimal number in whole number part at tens place and hundreds place no value is given so we will write down zeros here now we will subtract these two decimal numbers so put the sign of subtraction when we subtract two decimal numbers always start subtraction with decimal part and start from right to left side so first we will subtract 2 from 0 so 0 will take borrow from this digit but this digit is also 0 so this 0 will also take borrow from Seven. So when digit seven will be borrowed here, it will become ten. And now this ten will give borrow here, so it will become ten. Now we will subtract two from ten. So ten minus two is eight. Now ten is given one borrow here, so nine will be left. So now we will subtract. 4 from 9 so 9 minus 4 is 5 here 7 has given one borrow so what will be left 6 now we will subtract 9 from 6 but digit 6 is smaller than 9 so digit 6 will take borrow from 8 when digit 8 will give borrow here it will become 16 and what will be left here 7 now we will subtract 9 from 16 when we subtract 9 from 16 we will get 7 now we will put decimal point here now we will subtract digit 5 from 7 now 7 minus 5 is Two. Now one minus zero, one. Two minus zero is two. So after subtraction, 
we will get answer 212.758. Now come to the next example. We have to subtract two numbers. First number is 71,632 and second number is 641.29. First we will arrange the first number in column. So we will write down 71,632. So digit 2 will come at 1's place, 3 at 10's place, 6 at 100's place, 1 at 1000's place and 7 will come at 10,000's place. In this number, whole part is given but decimal part is not given. So, to make a decimal number, we will put decimal point here or here no digit is given at 10's place and 100's place. So, we will put zeros here. Now friends, we will arrange next decimal number. It is 641.29. So, 641 is whole number part. So, first we will arrange whole number part. While arranging the digits, it should be at their proper places. So, we write down 641. 1 will come at 1's place, 4 will come at 10's place, 6 will come at 100's place. After this, put decimal point. Next, now we will arrange the decimal part. Here, digit 2 will come at 10's place. Digit 9 will come at 100's place. Now here no value is given at thousands place and at ten thousands place so we will write down zeros here. Now we will separate these two numbers put sign of subtraction. Now start subtraction from right to left with decimal part. When we subtract 9 from 0 First, this digit 0 will take borrow. But this digit is also 0. So, this digit will take borrow from this digit. So, when digit 2 will give borrow here, it will become 10. And what will be left now? 1. Now, 10 will give borrow here. It will become 10. And what will be left now? 9. So, now we subtract 9 from 10. So, 10 minus 9 is 1. Now 9 minus 2 7. Put decimal point here. Now we subtract 1 and 1. So 1 minus 1 is 0. Now when we subtract 4 from 3. Now 3 is smaller than 4. So 3 will take borrow from 6. When 6 will give borrow, it will become 13. And what we left here now? 5. So, 13 minus 4 is 9. Now, we will subtract 6 from 5, but 5 is smaller than 6. So, this digit will take borrow from here. When 1 will borrow here, it will become 15. And what will be left here now? 0. So, 15 minus 6 is 9. Now, 0 minus 0. 0, 7 minus 0 is 7. After subtracting these two numbers, we will get 70,990.71. Thank you friends. That's all from my side.